a very good morning welcome back to your own channel see the soul the truth lies within and here we are going to talk about the 3 and 19 3 of accord blessing the god is teaching us the correct method of how to do seva with the renunciation and tapasya so let's find out what does papa have to say today says may you be benevolent to all and achieve success in the service you do with your renunciation and tapasya <coughs> so how do we become benevolent is by being a renunciate and doing tapasya now what do we renounce is what we're going to explore over here so baba says in the explanation part just as a physical fire is experienced from a distance you can feel the heat of the fire when you're sitting around a bonfire, right? In the same way, let the sparkle of your renunciation and tapasya attract everyone from a distance. So along with being a server, also be a renunciate and an embodiment of tapasya. Even in this world, if you are trying to serve other people and if you are one doing it for the sake of getting something in return, then that is not true service. God is known as the highest server of all souls. And what does he need? He doesn't need anything because he doesn't have a physical body so he doesn't feel hunger. He doesn't need his body to be clothed. He doesn't need clothes. He doesn't need food. He doesn't need shelter. So God says, even though you need all these things, but don't overdo it in the name of service. <coughs> be a renunciate. So, Baba says, also be a renunciate and an embodiment of tapasya. Instant and practical fruit will then be seen from the service you do. Because people can see through it. If you are wanting and desiring many things in life, if you are wanting and desiring name and fame, post and position, in the name of doing service that I have served so much and I want something in return, then we are not a renunciate. <coughs> so, God says, if that is the case, then your service will have no power in it. Just like the fire or the bonfire giving that heat, people won't feel the heat. People will be able to see through things. So God says a renunciate means that none of your old thoughts or sanskars are visible. <coughs> so what all can come in the old thoughts? In the old thoughts, we can have greed, we can have jealousy, we can be somebody who's like, I want to be one up on the other person. I want to be better than better than that person with because of comparison, because of competition. So God says, if you've got those kind of thoughts and those kind of habits, then instead of doing service, we're going to do disservice. We're going to spread those negativity, vibration, negative vibrations of thoughts and habits around. And people will see those negative things because it's Kalyuga. So people can see negative faster than positive. So God says that's where renunciation is more important than just speaking out the knowledge or serving others with knowledge. But people want to see that you have changed as a person and that is the most difficult part to do. But it happens over a period of time. We change ourselves. It's not a one-day process. And God says, a tapasvi means nothing is visible except the consciousness of your intellect and your soul conscious form so you don't get attracted to things and people and what people say and what people show you even if they gift you something even if they give you laurels those things are of no value when you're serving you are not after those things you're after godly love you're after godly praise so if god is praising you if god is loving you that's the highest form of achievement then Baba says, let benefit for every soul be merged in whatever thought you create and you will then be said to be benevolent to all. So the only pure thought which we can create is when we are tapasvi, when we are completely in the stage of renunciation that we can actually be benevolent to other souls. Otherwise, if you want or desire something in return or if you, have, if you got uh, wrong motives behind it if you're serving others for the sake of achieving something in a life other than godly love other than being high in godly 
eyes then that service has got no value <coughs> it has got no worth and just like the fire which gives out heat God says you won't have any fire to give out that heat you won't have that any warmth in your service so what kind of server do we want to become even in the, even if in our family we want to serve others what kind of warmth do they want to see do you want to serve your family members for the sake of receiving something in return could be wealth could be anything or do you want to really serve them without any desires then the heat and the warmth can be felt so i leave you with this beautiful word dan how do we become a person who's inside out clear and clean like that and who can rise up in god's eyes you can come at and learn it at brahma kumari scholarly spiritual university have a blessed day om shanti Thank you.